have what's called the, the Holy Trinity, they call it. Good afternoon from Trento, Italy. This weekend, Nelly and I are at a travel conference called Traverse, and a few days before the conference actually starts, they've got all these pre-activities lined up, and the one this evening is called Epic Photography with Tom Archer, who is a UK travel and landscape photographer. I'm gonna introduce you to him in this video, and that all starts right now. Let's go. And we made it. This is the spot on the side of the road. There's a lake, I think, really close here. So we're gonna go see if we can find a good photo spot. And the whole crew's gonna set up, <laughs> see if we can get some epic photos. I'm gonna keep this pretty informal, so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a talk through my process when it comes to landscapes. I'm gonna show you my kit, uh, and then we're just gonna take some photos, and feel free to ask me any questions you want. We've made it to our spot at the lake, and I've gotta introduce a buddy of mine who I don't think's ever been on the vlog before, have you? No, I don't think I have. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Philip Ammon. He is German, but living in the UK, and he used to live in Canada. That's right, that's yeah. why I sound kinda of like a Canuck. But... His English is absolutely <laughs> perfect, it's hilarious. And uh, you work as a commercial photographer. Yeah, that's right, I do uh, I do all kinds of stuff. Right now I'm doing a lot of travel and outdoors, but I also do some like studio work, mm -hmm. uh, working with kind of like fashion and hair stuff. Yeah. But Dude, this is where I like to be outside nice. in the nature. Yeah, this place is cool. We've come to a really nice lake. There's like a monastery off in the distance there. Yeah, I've been I trying think. to get some shots through the through the clearing and the trees here, but mm. the light is not quite there yet. We might might have to wait a few minutes before we'll we get some, get some some golden rays though. Yeah, it I'm might hopeful. happen. Fingers crossed. Yeah, me too. I want to get the drone up in the air. I'm going to pull away from you for a sec. They got the rest of the group right here and uh, listening to Tom. They're uh, talking about his landscape photography right beside a road as well. So you don't have to hike miles for a good location here in Italy. But uh, they're listening to Tom just to chat about his sort of style of photography and, and what he does and how he sets up uh, his shots and, and uh, some basic information but also some tips and tricks which is really cool. Looks like the sun's peeking through so I gotta try and get some shots right now. We're gonna hang out here I think for a bit and see what the conditions are like, see if the sun comes out, try some different things. So I shoot with a Nikon and this is the D850. Let there be light. The sun has decided to show itself, but it is pointing directly on us and sadly not on the subject of that beautiful old monastery in the background. So I've got kind of a two dimensional image set up here. The composition is with the 7200 just straight out onto the, uh, the church. And I've got the big mountain in the background to give it some scale. One of the things that Tom was mentioning, and I know a lot of you guys know this, is to try and add like a house or a person or some kind of like representation of how big the landscape is around you. So what I've done with, uh, with this shot is set up the six stop ND filter and then the 0.6 two stop uh, soft grad filter. And I've got it at F11 at about a three and a half uh, second exposure, ISO 100. And it's coming out pretty nice. So Tom Archer, 
I'm gonna put you on the spot. Hey. Oh dear. He has Here graciously agreed to be on the vlog, which is very cool. But Tom is leading this uh, this outing. It's called Epic Photography. Yep. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. Your landscape images, man. I'm gonna be honest. I saw them this morning for the first time. Yeah. And I was amazed. They're Thank you. Really, really good. Thanks, man. And uh, I'm lucky to be able to travel the world, taking a ton of photos, sharing them here on the channel with you guys. And uh, I want you to see his work because it is awesome. So you were telling the group earlier some like quick tips and tricks about landscape photography. Can you just repeat those to these guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, really, the most important thing for me is light. So it's all about being there at golden hour, being there at the right time. Uh, but the most important thing is patience. It's waiting, you know. Uh, often it is cloudy and it's hazy, but you know, in the, you wait there for four hours, the sun can come out for ten seconds. But that's when you get that killer shot, you know, that one extra, yes. uh, that X factor that Especially other people don't get. Especially with bad weather, like Iceland yeah. or the Faroes, exactly. Patagonia. All my oh. favorite shots were in places like the Faroes, where it's just the weather's awful. I mean, I remember one specific day where we're on the Faroes and we hiked to this viewpoint, and it was horrible. It was chucking it down <laughs> with rain, and most people would have been like, "No way, I'm going oh, out on that." And then uh, the sun broke out um, just a little bit over the horizon and it was the most dramatic thing I've ever seen. We had this beautiful sun, this dark skies and then the other way you had a rainbow, uh, the, this kind of or dark orange hit in the mountains. Uh, you can link to it, I can show you a picture <laughs> and then they can see. Like it's just, it's just crazy. It's always worth waiting and having that patience. Epic uh, photography. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool, man. So uh, we're heading out now to another location. The lights kind of died on us, but it's just fun to be out shooting with the group. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's do it. Grazie mille, signore. Grazie. Bravo. Prego, prego. <laughs> Our second location is actually like a panorama lookout at a restaurant. Got Phil with his uh, tripod here. When you don't have it, it's set got a it nice up where we can. Head. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to fly again, really. Now that the light hasn't popped, so I've still got a bit of drone battery left. So let's get up in the air. We've come down from the Panorama Lookout and we are at the Castle Toblino, which is the same name as the lake here, just outside of Trento, Italy. Beautiful location. I can see how with better light, this would be like phenomenal for landscape and travel photos. Uh, unfortunately for us, it didn't really pop, but a great place to fly the drone. Got some really nice drone footage and very cool to just talk photography and travel with all these amazing people. <laughs> All now gonna join you in the community here on the channel, which is really really cool I'll probably get like three to four new subscribers, which is sweet So I'm being distracted. I'm gonna walk away as always Thank you so much for watching the video the traverse conference this far has been really really cool and stay tuned for a couple more videos from here in Trento Italy because Nelly and I are still here for a couple more days and it is awesome awesome and this is also our last time in Europe before flying home to Canada for my grandmother's 97th birthday and both of my parents are retiring too so I'm gonna go celebrate with them uh, but that's coming up a couple more videos to go so yes as always thank you so much for watching I hope you like the video and I will see you on the next one